Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's get in, into it. I'm Kenyatta. This will be a reading from the writer Wait Tell Deck. The title of this reading is The Transfer Transference of Ill Health. This person is ill, sickly, not well. And they don't want you to be well either. They want you to be like them, sick, stuck, infirm, okay? like they are. And if they could transfer it to you completely, this is what they're going to do. This is what they're trying to do. I'm hearing this is what they've been trying to do, okay? I'm feeling like for quite a while now, but I'm hearing something about it's caught up with them, okay? Mm. They're no longer able to transfer it. Is that right? Transfer? Yeah. <laughs> Give it to you. Give you their shit. Okay. Your sickness, their illness. Okay. They have a problem, I'm hearing. Okay. Other than besides the illness. Okay. We're talking about physical sickness, physical illness. Okay. Something about they want you to know something. They, I don't know, it's weird. They rely on you for their lies. So, I, in other words, I feel like they are. Lying about you, saying things about you, rumors, gossip, that type of thing, okay? If they could make you look ill, sickly, like them, they feel they'll be the better for it. I don't know. Not all things make sense. Okay, but apparently in their mind it does. So... You know, in their mind, you're going to be sick like them, worse than them. If I could just transfer this illness, this sickness to them, besides me, off of me and give it to them. They might have a picture of you, okay, on their altar or something like that, okay, worshiping you, okay, trying to bend you to their will, But the thing about it is, is they're actually bending themselves to yours, okay? Not realizing it, okay? Everything you do, everything you say, okay? They watch everything you do, everything you say. They hang off your every word. What they saying now, okay? What they looking for now? What they up to now, okay? I got to transfer this, okay? I got to send this to them. I got to give this to them, okay? This illness now, okay? People may not know that they're sick. Okay, but they know that they're sick, okay, and they want you to feel the brunt, okay, of their uh, illness. I want you to be sick like me. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to pass it to you. I'm here. I can't do nothing else, okay, um, but I'm going to give you this. You're going to have this, this illness I got, okay. I'm putting it off on you. Picture of you on their altar or whatever, candle. It's like a sense of begging and pleading to give it to you. Hoping the candle work. Something about the flame. Hoping the flame can transfer it to you this time because it couldn't last time. I'm going to try this again. I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to keep trying this. Give them my sickness. Give them my illness. Hold on. Heard a word. Wow. <laughs> uh, I heard wantonness. W-A-N-T-O-N-E-S-S. -S. Wantonness. Unchaste, lewd, lustful, sensual. Having no regard for justice or for other person's feelings, rights, or safety. Merciless, inhumane, having no just cause. A wanton individual, a lewd or immoral person, okay, to pass or waste wantonly. That's what I heard, wantonness, okay. They want to pass on their wantonness to you. 
give it to you. Okay, or this is what they're the spirit that they're in, the energy that they're in, okay, and trying to pass their illness and sickness to you, their burdens. I'm hearing. Okay. Here's something about praise. They want your praise. They believe you know people praise you or whatever. They damn sure do by having your picture on the altar. Okay, constantly looking at you, constantly thinking about you, hanging on your every word. What can I give to them this time? What can I do to them this time? Okay. All right, let's see what we get here. Let's get into it here. We have Queen of Cups, upright. Two of Wands, upright. Six of Cups, upright. Six of Pentacles, upright. Okay, and the Sun card, upright. I heard civil when I first put out the Queen of Cups card. Okay, you're too civil. Okay, they feel like you're too civil. <laughs> And that they're not civil enough or something like that. Okay, civility. Okay, they don't want to be civil. All right. Um, yeah, you're too civil. You you know, maybe they feel like you're too nice, too nice of a person, too pleasant, I'm hearing. Okay. Um, and then I'm hearing not pleasant enough, that maybe they feel they're not pleasant enough. Okay. That you're not like them. Okay, that you need to be like them. Okay. They want you to be like them, wasteful, okay? Want not, they feel like you don't have need for anything or that you don't want anything, okay? Unlike me, okay? This person is not like me. I want everything, okay? Listen, I heard something about the sea. I want to see the world, you know, all of this type of thing, all right? But anyway, I feel like maybe they see you here as this queen of cups, okay? Uh, civil, this whole thing about civil, sensitive, caring, okay? Yeah, that you're a caring person, a caring individual, okay? that you care for others. And I keep hearing, unlike me, this is what they're thinking, unlike me, they're, that they're not that way, but you are, okay? Caring and kind, loving, you know, et cetera, sweet, et cetera, et cetera, unlike me okay this is what i'm hearing okay this is how they feel about themselves okay and comparing themselves to you and i'm hearing there's no need to be in any kind of comparison mode but this is what this person does okay i feel like they want you to care about them they want you to love them they want you to treasure them they want you uh to you know honor them their existence who they are It's interesting because uh, it's weird. I'm hearing they feel like you created them. I don't know. Okay. Maybe this is uh, a child to a parent. I don't know. Okay. Or, or I'm even hearing, or they want you to be their parent. You know, the loving, kind gestures that they see in you, they want you to give that to them. Okay. But I'm hearing, but you won't. Okay. And you damn sure don't. Okay. And you don't want to. Okay. This person, um, this whole civility thing, there's like no civility here, no civilness I'm hearing, okay? In this person's heart, soul, mind, body, being, they don't want to be. They don't want to be civil. Okay. They want to uh, be this, you know, like hard, rock hard person or whatever, okay? And uh, act out constantly i feel like they uh, feel like you're giving up on them okay they may see you as someone who you know you got everything going on for you got the world in your hands blah 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 okay and, and also this uh, i feel like they look at you as having choices they don't want you to have choices no more choices i'm gonna take your choices all right from you I'm going going to burden you, okay, with my lack of choices. I have no choices in life, okay. No one's ever given to me lovingly and caring, you know, and kind, okay. This, they feel that, um, I mean, like this person has had, has had kindness show, shown to them. They feel like you've had kindness shown to you, to you, genuine kindness, okay. They feel like you are, um, they feel like you're wealthy, 
Okay. I mean financially, so maybe other means too, but they definitely feel like you got money. I mean, character. <laughs> okay. Well, positive character. Okay. Again, at your loving, kind, genuine, sincere. Okay. And that your life is balanced. Okay. And that you can help bring balance to the lives of others. Okay. I feel like this person looks at you as a giver. You like to give to others. You like to share, okay, and help bring balance into the lives of others. I feel like this, they look at you as you are just a happy person and that and they're not. I want to be happy too. King of Swords up, upright. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Wands upright. Okay. And here we have Three of Pentacles in reverse. Wealth and prosperity, you got it. Okay, and I want it. This is their, what they're thinking here. I'm going to take it. I'm going to steal it. I'm going to show them. They, I feel like they look at you as um, too intelligent. And you know how to build things. I'm also hearing trust, okay, um, that you're trustworthy, that people trust you, okay, and that people look up to you, okay, and that you have something to share, positive, of a positivity, okay, positive messages to share with others. This person, um, I feel like maybe you have changed, maybe you've grown, they see your, they uh, see your the, or the transformation that has taken place in your life, okay? Like you're just like blossoming, blooming, okay? You know, the transformation like a butterfly, okay? And that you're just, you know, soaring, okay? That you're doing well, but that you have the um, brains, okay? The mindset to do it the, and the know-how. Nobody had to teach you. Nobody had to show you, all right? This is how they are looking at you, okay? They don't see you um, as anything small, Uh, like the world is your oyster, like you can go anywhere, do anything you want, okay? Now, you may not feel like that, okay? But we cannot help how others see us, how others view us, okay? We are, you know, how, how the saying goes, we are our own worst critic. But others may look at us, you know, with great admiration. This person admires your stability. They believe you to be a stable figure, Okay? A stable person and figure that word figure like you are a um a figure you know uh to the masses okay or to others to people they will look up to you they will admire you they will admonish you that type of thing okay but they don't want that for you they want you to come down to the place and level that they're in okay? and that they feel like that what you have have to offer okay is you know abundant okay that it's great okay if you have if you maybe you are a public speaker maybe you have your own platform this type of thing okay you are before others sharing knowledge with others they view the knowledge that you share with others as you know, again, great, mighty, potent, even powerful messages. All right. This is what they, how they view you. They believe that you are well aware of yourself, that you know who you are, you know where you're going. Okay. They see you as someone that is protected. Okay. That someone can't reach nor touch. They probably, I feel like if, you know, man or woman, they probably think that you are a very attractive person. And that you have no worries. That you are so in tune with yourself and who you are. Okay. It's just like they look at you as like, don't nothing bother you. Okay. It doesn't matter. Like it doesn't, you like, like it don't matter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, um, whatever, what whatever may come. 
you know, it is what it is. You know, like you sit here on your throne. I sit on my throne, period, you know. But um, they, I even feel like they look at you as uh, humble, okay. Now, you, 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 uh, well, the way people use that word, okay. Now, you may not, um. It's, it's it's just this energy of like they look at you as someone you don't have to speak you don't have to make any pronouncements okay about you know who you are and what you do okay you just live in your you and if that in their mind is you know powerful and great and blah 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 then you just live in your you okay they may even feel like you don't need nobody but you don't have to have nobody by your side, okay? Or working with you, okay? Or that you need others to help make, you know, things work for you, okay? We have the Knight of Wands in reverse. Here we have the Seven of Wands in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, okay? <clears throat> that you can, you know, do it on your own. Now, this is this person's thoughts of you. This is not necessarily, doesn't mean that it's correct. But in there observing you, in there watching you, like I said, watching you all the time, hanging on your every word. This is their perception. This is how they see you. This is who they understand you to be okay, in their mind. Knight of Wands, in, did I say them all? Seven of Wands in reverse and Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like they look at you as someone that you're not going to... Um, Except anyone's, wow, I heard foolishness, bad behavior, okay? You're not going to allow that in your life. But I feel more so from, um, hold on. Something about they feel that you're beyond the... Um, like it has something to do with relation romantic relationships either that you're not interested in them that you don't want them that you're just not going to accept like you know petty energies you know in the form of romantic relationships though okay from anyone you're not just going to let them rush in, okay? Take you over and do you in here, okay? Or just uh, let somebody just, you know, bed you down, okay? You know, screw you and just use you in that manner, okay? And put you in a position where um, it's all kinds of all manner of mayhem coming at you as a result of that okay. and let and they're gonna just come in you know have sex with you or whatever and not even you know treat you with uh, any kind of care love favor okay if you are a woman okay um and that's interested in men that you ain't gonna let no man just come in you know, and have sex with you and lie to you and all that kind of thing. Just stick his thing all up in you any way he want, when he want, how he want. That you, you, you're not so overcome here with that kind of um, desire here. And then he leave you hanging. Won't even, you know, put no uh, ring on your finger. Won't even. You're not going to. They look at you as someone that you're not going to allow that in your life. Okay. Maybe you had at one point. <laughs> okay. But not any longer. I'm here. I'm too mature for that. Okay, I'm past that, you know, time in my life. Okay, and no, I don't need nor want anyone to come in to break my uh, heart, my my spirit, my mind, okay, with no intentions of, you know, trying to make me their spouse. Okay, I'm hearing dim days is over. Dim days is over. Okay, you know, like been there, done that. 
asking. And I could, I feel like the same thing if you're a man and this is resonating with you who is interested in a woman, okay? She's not just going to come in, okay? Uh, you know, use her feminine wiles and sexuality to get what she want up out of me and I become weak and can't handle myself in my life, okay? And then toss me to the side like I'm nothing and nobody. This is how this person views you, that you are not going to allow that type of energy, okay, in your world and in your realm. Eight of Cups upright, okay? Six of Wands in reverse, Okay. And the four of cups in reverse. Okay. They see you as someone, you know, you you walk away in a heartbeat. And you ain't got no problem with walking away. But I'm also hearing, why can't I do that? Okay. There's this again comparison, constant comparison, comparing themselves to you. Okay. I'm hearing you don't even know them. Okay, like for real. Maybe you know them, you know, know who the person is, but uh you don't know them in that regard that intimately for and i feel like obviously you feel like they don't know you that intimately either for them to be making all kinds of determinations about you okay they might be right but why are you it's like this energy of why are you sitting there um comparing yourself to me i don't even know you we don't know one another you know truly who it's like who are you okay and who are you to be sitting there in constant, you know, thought concerning who I am and comparing yourself to me. And I, I I think I heard the word remorse, but I'm not quite sure. It was rem, rem something, remorse or something like that, but there's no word like that there. So maybe I, maybe it's remorse. I don't know, but they feel like you don't have no issue with walking away, okay, from them or anyone else here, okay, if this is not going to be a positive uh, coming together, okay, a positive relationship here, moving on, okay. But they damn sure want you to uh, ac accept what it is they have to offer okay and but you're not and you won't you know it's like i don't th there's some kind of illness here okay i don't know if this is a, a, a disease okay or some kind of a chronic condition or something like that or but it, there's ill health here that they want to transfer to you you take me, take my ill health and my ill wishes or something like that, okay, my problems, problematic, you know, the way I am about life, how I look at life, okay, and I take you, <laughs> and it's being said with, with you know, um, like seriousness, like, like they genuinely mean it, okay, please there's a begging here please and like i said this candle that i saw with your picture on, on this person's altar this pit person standing by the, the the altar with your picture and them burning this candle there was like a begging a pleading please take my illness my issues my problems let me be you okay and i think i read something like that before in another uh spread okay i can't remember which one it was which video it was but it, it's like they're they're begging you okay now if they were doing things to you toss the things at you you know black magic witchcraft all that type of thing before you know it was just throwing it at you okay but it has gotten to a point in a place where this person now is like it's like there's a spirit of them begging you to please allow me to do this to you weird strange Allow me to take over your life, have your life, your being, your possibilities, your world, and you please take mine. I'm asking, begging, pleading, 
please. Sad. I mean, like the only thing left here for you to say or that needs to be said is to be careful, be watchful, be vigilant. Don't allow this person in your space. Don't let them come near you. Okay. This person has um, obviously some real like mental issues and problems that they will not. Let me see. They won't work on. They feel the way to relieve themselves of their problems here and their issues is to trade with someone. You. And, and maybe others. There might be there might be other people they're in this energy with as well. I'm hearing they 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 are. Okay. I heard the word negate. Okay. To, the, uh, to deny the existence or truth of, to cause to be ineffective or invalid, nullify, of course, okay? This person wants to negate here that they have any issues or any problems, okay? In the sense that they just will not take the time to, um, wow, I mean, look at themselves, sure, but honor themselves enough to get the help that they really need. They feel this is the way. To trade with you. And they think I'm here to honor you. They think this is honoring you. That you would be honored. That they would want. You. Uh, you know to be you. That you would be honored by that. That you would. You know that they would uh, want to be you. but and, and you know give you all their issues. Their problems and their illnesses. And you give me your life. They are begging you. Now, hold on. Now, if you, if this is not someone that you encounter, okay, on a regular basis or something like that, even in the, you know, astral realms, your dream space, all of that type of thing, right? Uh, Again, you know, do you be careful, do your whatever your protective work is that you need to do, okay, to guard yourself. I feel like this is the the energy that this person is in, that they would try to make this transference. They're in, of course, they not even know this is the spirit of it. Please, please, please. They're not going to come to you. I seriously doubt, okay, in, in material in the material realm and say to you, please let me have your life. <laughs> okay. I seriously doubt that. They want to try to make this transference here, okay, um, in the astral realms, okay, through their, you know, black magic, witchcraft, sorcery, okay, um, whatever the case, candle work, spell work, whatever, okay. If you, I want to say, okay, if you uh, have not been feeling well you know something you know all of a sudden is off and you know you ain't got no issues in them areas okay. go to the doctor the doctor saying shit wrong with you you know we done took every test known the man we can't find anything here okay you know you, you, your heart is healthy as an ox and all that type of shit okay or you just came from doctor, just got all back your tests like last month, and you, you know, it ain't time for your yearly checkup, blah blah blah, and all of a sudden, okay, maybe you know something joint you got extreme joint pain, or or your heart hurt and you can't breathe, or or, or, or you got blurry vision, or whatever the case. Okay, you're hearing this acting fuzzy and whatnot. Okay, this may be why this person. And now I'm hearing this person has heart issues, heart health. Now, I don't know if that means physical heart or, you know, emotional. Okay. Because obviously we see there's some emotional issues here, mental illnesses here. Okay. Um, do what you need to do to relieve yourself. 
aspect of this person's problems and issues because they determine it. Okay, they're going to get yours, they're going to get your life, and they're going to be you. And I just heard the, the queen. So they probably, I feel like maybe this is how they look at you, like you're a queen. Okay, this is ro a woman, whatever, royalty. Okay, you done saw three, the, the two queens and the king come out in a damn spread. Okay, so just, you know, be mindful here. Okay. Now, I'm not saying the black magic witchcraft, if you feel like that, it's going to actually work. Because, I mean, come on now. You know what I'm saying? But you still should do what you have to do to, you know, honor yourself the way in which this person needs to honor themselves, which they they refuse to do. It just seems like they just, you know, there's, well, I can just simply say they don't like themselves. They don't love themselves. Oh, yeah. Okay. But there's more here than meets the eye. Okay. In terms of that. Where does that come from? Where did that stem from? Where did it begin? That ain't none of your issue and none of your damn problem. Don't be trying to figure it out. All right. That's it. The best to you.